Hi, I am Yusi Salavara and I'm a co-founder and managing partner of Asia for Antler. We are coming to you from Singapore and to all of our founders, investors, partners, advisors and community, welcome to the Antler Southeast Asia Demo Day. For those of you joining us for the first time, Antler is a global early stage VC headquartered in Singapore. We are building the defining technology companies of tomorrow through our global early stage investment platform. Currently, we are active in most of the major startup hubs across the world with 18 locations and growing. In Southeast Asia, we have recently expanded into Vietnam and Indonesia. We are extremely excited to have launched these new locations, which will allow us to continue to enable and support future entrepreneurs across this growing region. During 2021, Antler invested in 148 new companies globally, out of which 38 new companies were created at Antler Southeast Asia. With this strong momentum and our new regional offices in Indonesia and Vietnam, we believe that 2022 will be another exciting year for the entire Southeast Asian startup ecosystem. Tonight, you will hear some of the latest additions to our Southeast Asia portfolio pitch. These exceptional teams are working on building for a future where tech is shaping and changing the way we work, live, socialize and learn. After each pitch, please click on the Get in Touch button for the startup you would like to connect with. You can provide feedback, express your interest in investing, collaborating or becoming their next customer. Without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Jennifer, CEO and co-founder of Just Tap Out. We are creating the number one platform addressing food waste in Southeast Asia and Australia. Imagine, in one shot, you can discover a great meal at a fraction of its price and save the planet. Meet Casey. Casey is a baker who bakes pastries. She takes pride in making sure it's done to its perfection. Even a small dent cannot be sold. Unfortunately, with every batch, there will be a few pastries that is dented. Hence, they are often discarded. Now, for the past four months, we have helped her save more than 5,000 pastries and earn back $10,000. And like Casey, many bakers, chefs, and owners throw away this food. And guess what? All these are perfectly edible. Now, let's take a step back. Globally, there's about 110 million tons of edible food waste every year, which is equivalent to a loss of $600 billion per year. Now, with such numbers, we know that the issue is big, but the opportunity is even bigger. This is a $100 billion market in Southeast Asia and Australia. And our concept is a proven one. The food waste market has attracted big investors with a proven models in US and Europe. Now, these four companies are tackling the food waste issue and have recently raised more than $70 million of funds with amazing results. However, none of them are operating in Asia and we have that local advantage. And Just Up Out is at its prime time to capture it. Just Up Out is the leading green marketplace to help food businesses sell their surplus food at a discounted price. Now, bakers like Casey can discover new opportunities from the food that's usually thrown away. Customers can simply log into our platform, select the food item which they want to save and eat, and simply check out and pick up their food straight from the store. Now, over the past few months, we have onboarded more than 350 merchants ranging from big brands to chain restaurants and even to home-based businesses. Where there's surplus, we're here to help. Also, we have partnered with over 20 plus partners to create that network effect, tapping into the government, small businesses and the green tech firms. Now, with that said, we've proven that it works because we were able to save 4 tons of food, reducing 8.5 tons of CO2 emissions with just our MVP. And our customers love it. Over the past 10 months, 600 plus of them have given us an average rating of 4.5 stars. And within those few months, we have acquired a total of 2,500 customers, out of which 51% returns. With $6,000 in monthly GMV and growing fast, we're really just getting started. With our unique triple win solution, we have helped food businesses earn back more than $50,000 in sunk costs, while our customers save up to $420 on food every month. So how do we make money? By charging a healthy markup of 25% for every transaction on our platform. Now, speed for us is key. 
We have just secured an angel round with 12,000 strong user base. And by next month, we're going to hit 20,000 signups with just our mobile app. Launch and expand it to Jakarta in April. And by July, we will have 50,000 users with the expansion of the grocery segment. Our founding team has a combined experience in e-commerce, consulting, and FMCG. Also, we are very happy to have an esteemed board of advisor with a wealth of experience in scaling e-commerce platforms. We are currently seeking to raise the seed round to fuel our growth plans. Two priorities that we want to use this fund for are expansion and enhancing our product. Now, sustainable investing isn't just a duty, it's an opportunity. If you would like to be a part of this positive change, please reach out to me through this QR code. Thank you. Hi, I'm Wee Ming, co-founder of Soup, and together with Michael, we are on a mission to shape the future of shared mobility. One customer, one ride at a time. So, what's your deepest memory of Jakarta? Many will say getting stuck in traffic for hours. And for ladies, safety was an issue when traveling. And of course, not forgetting the expensive ride-hailing fares. On the other hand, there are thousands of vans and buses which are underutilized sitting in garages after their weekend leisure trips. This growing gap between vehicle supply and growing travel demand presents a huge opportunity to improve the daily commute in Jakarta. Let me introduce Soup. Soup is a smart, demand-responsive, shared mobility platform that connects vehicle fleets to this underserved demand. Our intelligent algorithm optimizes routing for our fleet and create virtual stops to pick and drop passengers using medium capacity vehicles. We have four products, Soup Commute, Travel, Business, and Delivery. We are super focused to bring five core value propositions to our riders. That is, we deliver affordable, comfortable, convenient, reliable, and safe commutes every day. Our stops are within five minutes walks the rides are comfortable, safe with our vetted drivers, and highly affordable and faster than alternatives today. Something very core to us was being able to uplift the livelihoods of our soup captains by 3x their income and improve their financial stability. Our original plan was just to acquire 120 users, run two to three pilot routes, and 100 trips to test product market fit in November. However, just in this short six weeks of operations, we received such strong demand that today we hit over 1,400 passengers, expanded to 35 routes, and clocked over 2,500 trips and reached 50k GTV. This includes partnerships with Trans Jakarta and MRT Jakarta, major public transport operators. Our growth is mostly from word of mouth with minimal marketing spend at less than USD 1K. And we are also seeing high retention rates with repeated bookings daily. Overall, our traction even exceeds historical traction of some ride-hailing companies in their early days. The mobility market in Asia today is massive and is over 70 billion in Indonesia alone, where Soup aims to capture 5% market share based on our conservative estimates before expanding to other emerging countries. As today, in Greater Jakarta alone, close to 90 million trips are made per day, and this is set to grow further. Our business model is simple and asset light. We partner with fleet and vehicle owners and drivers to serve our B2C passengers and B2B corporates, which make up 80% and 20% respectively taking 20 to 35% commission per trip and charging companies monthly fees. We have put together an extremely experienced team with Michael and myself having over 25 years of experience across startups, consulting, government, VC and logistics space in APEC, particularly in Southeast Asia. We will be continuing to build on this strong momentum and our next milestone is to achieve 40K passengers by June 
1.8 million monthly GTV and 300 routes across Greater Jakarta daily. Currently, we are looking for strategic and active partners in our growth journey. So, we would like to invite you to come soup with us. We all want to live long, healthy and happy lives. But as we grow older, we age. Put simply, aging is cell damage. And this damage causes small issues like wrinkles, but it's also the root cause of many more serious diseases like cancer, brain and heart issues. Anti-aging has long been the domain of snake oil salesmen. But scientists have recently made a lot of progress in understanding aging. They're now saying we should see aging as a disease, a disease that could even be cured. According to Harvard professor David Sinclair, the first person to reach 150 has already been born. The developments in the longevity space are already attracting a lot of interest from scientists, investors and consumers. The Bank of America is expecting the industry to grow from 110 billion in 2019 to a staggering 600 billion in 2025. Two billion dollars of investments have flowed into the longevity sector in 2021 alone. We are on the verge of a longevity revolution. Scientists are predicting therapies that could instantly take years of your biological age. We're not there yet, but there's already a lot that's proven to help you live healthier longer. We are Peter and Jeffrey. Peter has a lot of experience in the medical industry in China, mainly as an investor and go-to-market consultant, while I have grown a consumer website from 1 million to over 100 million euros globally. We believe in a longevity revolution, and that's why we've built for youth a one-stop solution for science-backed longevity therapies. We provide supplements, biological age tests, and lifestyle advice to help people live healthier longer. Other longevity brands target early adopters in a way that is hard to understand for the average consumer. You'd have to have a PhD in biology to understand the products, and it's difficult to find out what works. We have built a brand that appeals to the late millennial mindset, with a sleek bottle and a clean website that's easy to use. We're confident that our approach will reach a larger audience much more effectively. The first product we are selling is a compound called NMN, which is a natural supplement. Scientists have discovered nine biological reasons why we age. NMN is targeting four of those reasons, and we will soon launch a second product to target the other five. This month, we will also launch a biological age test kit to determine how old your body really is. The test can be done standalone, but we will also create a feedback loop that can show you the results of our therapies. We've started selling on our website in November last year. We've set up a well-oiled machine that's ready to scale. So far, we've sold over 150 bottles of NMN, totaling to $7,500 in turnover, with people already asking when we will launch the next product. We believe that the next decades will be all about living healthier longer, and we are building a company that is part of this movement from the start. We're raising a seed round. Additional capital will allow us to blast the market with our longevity solutions whilst reducing our unit costs by allowing us to buy in bulk. Our operation is up and running, we have a product mix in place, and we now need money to scale to a million dollars in turnover in Singapore, Malaysia, and Australia by the end of the year. To all interests that also believe in a longevity revolution, reach out to us via info at foryouth.co. Hi, we're Storyfy Me, a creator activation platform that enables brands to identify and activate the most effective creators according to their ability to influence purchase decisions. In our space, millions of creators publish content on social media every day, but only 16% of them meet campaign goals. We think this is largely due to a lack of smart solutions for brands to activate performing creators in an easy and transparent way. Tools to help creators achieve better performance are also not readily available. Yet, Brands are allocating a significant portion of their marketing budget on creator activation and content sponsorship. 
They think engaging these creators are more critical now than before, and they are producing more and spending more. But remember, only 16% of these creators were able to meet campaign targets. This means a very significant portion of fees paid to these creators are resulting in campaigns with unmeasurable outcomes or worse, no outcomes. Let's zoom in on the work of Sarah, a marketing manager for a cosmetics brand. To run her campaigns, she activates creators by one, using crowdsourcing methods that deprive her of choice and control, or two, searching via an online directory and then emailing them one by one. Both methods don't give her confidence on performance. Crucially, she relies on broad vanity metrics to remunerate creators, not the best model to establish effective return on investment. Hold on to that thought about Sarah. Let's also meet Eileen, a regular creator on social media who's often sponsored by brands to produce content. She and thousands of other creators alike set fees according to the size of her follower base, and she struggles to justify the value for her work. So we built Storify Me, a hyper-local activation platform for brands to discover and activate creators according to performance. Here, we apply predictive analytics to establish conversion potential for each creator based on historical campaign data, follower quality, and client ratings. If you know who to work with, how do you manage hundreds of them all at once? The platform also covers every aspect of activating a large cohort of creators end-to-end -end and at the same time. We want to initiate a shift towards an outcome-based model for sponsored content. We have created a vertical network where brands can transact with creators directly in a fair and trusted manner. Instead of a working relationship that is task-based, we would like creators focus on the impact of their content and for brands to find such models valuable. We veer away from vanity metrics, the culprit of follower fraud, and focus on meaningful consumer actions that track and measure conversion and sales. We are live. We have booked close to $200,000 in revenue over the last nine months and have served close to 30 clients. Almost all our clients are mid-sized to large brands and more than half of them return to run the next campaign. In the recent few weeks, some of our Singapore-based clients are onboarding their regional teams on Storify. This includes projects for a brand under the Louis Vuitton Group in Malaysia and an international travel accessories brand in Indonesia and Taiwan. We are raising a seed round to scale across cities with a high volume of creator activities. While we currently adopt an opportunistic approach to launch in these countries via referrals from our Singapore-based clients, we believe our approach can be more systematic and expansionary with adequate resources. And so, this is us. I've worked for almost 20 years from management consulting to digital marketing and branding. Chi Wei, my co-founder, has worked with me in the last 10 years. He also has two decades of experience in full-stack development. More critically, while we are a two-person team, we have created a platform that taps into a network of more than 3,000 independent creators to deliver hundreds of meaningful campaigns in the last few months. We are confident with an injection of funds and resources, we can achieve our target of acquiring 100 new clients and generate a million dollars in revenue by the end of 2022. We look forward to further discussions with you. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Jonathan and I am the CEO and co-founder of Jomija. Meet Sunny. Sunny is an aspiring Gen Z creative young artist. Inspired by NFTs, also known as non-fungible tokens, selling for millions of dollars, Sunny decides to create his own collection dedicated to monkey preservation. One of Sunny's NFT was bought by Danny who believes in Sunny's vision. Unfortunately, one day, Sunny decides to abandon the project due to lack of traction. And just like that, Danny's NFT became obsolete. There are millions of Johnnies, Dannys, and CryptoMonkeys today. In fact, we believe that more than 90% of NFTs by creators struggle to find utility, visibility, and liquidity and as a result, suffer from value lockup. And here's what we are doing to help. Introducing Terrypods, a social metaverse platform where NFTs are gamified to add utility, increase their trade value and life cycle. Owners can plug their idle NFTs into digital AI avatars, expand their digital profiles by building social networks, 
and competing in tournaments. Creators can create, customize, and promote their upcoming NFT collection in very creative ways without having to pay expensive promoters. Communities can plug into our platform to keep their members engaged via our various mini-games without spending resources on expensive development. And our vision is for Terrapods to become the main gateway into the metaverse where any creator can easily plug and play, customize their own space, build their community and their brand for their digital assets. And we plan to keep it accessible to anyone. In 2021, the value of NFTs traded was approximately $20 billion. And we believe that NFTs will continue to go mainstream and drive this growth as brands, metaverse platforms, and e-commerce enter this space. Many more creative Gen Zs will enter the NFT space as micropreneurs as it becomes easier to create and deploy NFTs. Our short-term business model is via a subscription service fee as we develop the product with early communities, but we plan to move towards an in-game monetization and freemium model once we scale up. Since August last year, we have completed our very first beta community project played by more than 400 players with some early recurring revenue as part of our proof of engagement and product development journey. We are currently adding on the infrastructure for NFT communities and are looking to expand to multiplayer, social, and allowing creator customizations. We are a team of 30 years of experience in tech such as games, cloud, IoT, augmented reality, and security, having a strong mixture of commercial and technical experiences. We definitely know how to build and scale. We are seeking strategic partners and fundraising in the NFT, GameFi, Metaverse space who could support us in community growth and engagement. And finally, if you own any NFTs and are interested in putting them to better use, check us out. See you! Hi, we are Sisu and we are here to reimagine wellness. I am Rachel, here with you today as the CEO and co-founder of Sisu. How are you, really? Let's take a pause to sit in with ourselves and ask how we have been the past two years. Anxious, tired, a little overwhelmed, stress? While you and 92% others in Asia today are suffering from stress, same for anxiety, and we are no strangers to the concept of stress and anxiety. And so many of us have tried fitness, therapy, and medication. But today, we are feeling the brunt and experiencing the effects more so than ever before. This has caused a big shift in user mindset and behavior as more tend to mindfulness and meditation to cope, driving a 48% growth for the next five years in this market. The pandemic is accelerating adoption as consumers actively seek wellness solutions. The explosion in Google search trends for holistic wellness and consumer spending on mindfulness apps show users are hungry, users are willing to pay, and users are ready. But there is a gap, a layer still unsolved. We spoke to hundreds of users and uncovered that more than 70% found self-guided meditation solutions ineffective, generic, and a struggle. Why? Users shared with us that before they can even begin, they are overwhelmed with choices and simply do not know what to start. If they do start, they are unsure if they are doing it right during the process. And post-session, they get really frustrated because they cannot see results. And so many users quit logging in shortly after downloading them. But what if we can change that? Imagine a world where meditation is as easy as having a personal trainer at the gym. Introducing Sisu, your fully guided mindfulness platform featuring meditation, breathwork, and sound healing classes that are evidence-based and science-backed. Through Sisu, users practice life in an interactive and personable environment, whether in group or one-to-one -one format. By scheduling a class, users are more likely to show up, and that helps to reinforce accountability. 
Our classes are led by qualified world-class experts to make the experience real, relatable, and directly applicable to users' changing needs and current state of mind. We are the world's first 100% guided platform with care coaches to recommend classes, check in with users, and help them navigate the process with ease every step of the way, making it a comprehensive experience. CSU work on a monthly subscription model that allows users to access all of the above content and measure progress tangibly along the way, finally closing the loop when it comes to habitualizing meditation. We just launched our beta a few weeks ago and have seen clear traction with over 50 experts vetted and qualified, as well as 50% week-on-week organic user growth, capturing an average revenue of $120 per user. We know we are delivering value to users and we are excited to meet growing user demand. Our 18-month roadmap propels us from where we stand right now as a platform with Care Consult's feature to launching our mobile app, expanding to Hong Kong and Malaysia before going global and tackling the enterprise wellness space. We are the best team to make this happen. The core CSU team has over 25 years of experience combined and diverse skill sets across working in the wellness industry, building startups, and leading tech teams, along with our advisors who are passionate about the space we are in. Meditation and mindfulness apps are a proven model, and well-funded startups in this space are scaling up within a short period of time. Open, MindLabs, and Cars are a few names that come to mind, but there are still no major players in Asia, and Sisu is ready to change that. We are raising a seed round and looking for like-minded investors who are aligned with our values. If you are an investor or company looking for strategic partnerships, reach out to me at my email. Let us build something great together, stress less with Sisu. Thank you. Hey everyone, Evan here, one of the co-founders and CEO of Quest. Quest is a platform where you can hire a hero for pretty much anything. We are a community where Gen Zs can access to earning opportunities by solving everyday problems. Going to the app, you'll see people posting for things like help me plan a wedding proposal, as you can see here, to things like help me build my Lego set that I'm too lazy to build, or even cleaning my collections of Lego. And to educate our users the limitless ways they can use Quest, we posted a TikTok video recently about getting people to wake me up for exam for $10, and it went viral worldwide with more than 1.7 million views till date, and that was really crazy. So we all have 99 problems every day. However, if you think about it, it's difficult to get things done because sometimes we just don't have the time or we lack certain skills to get things done. On average, Gen Zs, we do have five to 10 different monetizable skill sets and we have four to five hours sporadic spare time a day, many of which is spent scrolling through TikTok. However, it's reported that 72% of Gen Z are obsessed to pursue a side hustle, while 53% of Gen Zs do not plan to rely on only their job as their sole income source. So whether in Singapore, Southeast Asia, or over the world, we have people who want to get things done and people who want to earn. But the current solutions out there are just not doing it right. Firstly, there's a limit to what kind of services you can find in many of these platforms and the limited number of ways a Gen Z can earn. Unless you have a specialized skill set, you can become a freelancer. If not, you'll probably be doing food deliveries. And it takes too long for anyone to reach out especially when we need help urgently. And we realize that you don't actually need a professional to solve your everyday problems. So Quest, we want to empower Gen Zs by being the platform to seek for help and earn. And we do things a little bit differently. We call the people who seek help from others as citizens and the people who help others as heroes because they come and save your day. Six months ago, we launched our mobile app on the app stores and within three weeks, we became the number one lifestyle app on the Apple's and Google's top charts, and we have never left the charts since. Today, we have more than 40,000 users on our platform, with more than 18,000 quests posted thus far, generating to more than $350,000 in income earned by our users. What we are really proud to see is that 70% of the quests posted receive an inquiry by another user within the first five minutes, and this keeps people coming back. With 52% of our users posted a quest more than once, and 14% of them posted more than 5 times over the last 3 months. Even though we are focusing on the Southeast Asia market at the moment, 
the market opportunity is huge just across six markets. However, what I want to point your attention to is the shadow market where people like you and I, we can do different services, quests for each other, and this often goes unaccounted for. With such a huge market, we definitely have competitors. However, what really set us apart is that we are fast. If you post a quest today, you'll get an inquiry by another user within minutes. And because we have a Gen Z demographic, it's only in quests you'll see people posting for things like, you know, help me test my boyfriend's loyalty for $20. He cheated on me before. And these are the daily, quirky, interesting quests that keeps people coming back. And we use an AI recommendation engine to push quests to the right users. Think of it as TikTok's algorithm, but for services. And we will charge based on the freemium model to users who want to earn a livelihood through quests, where they can get unlimited access to all the quests posted. In the next five years, we want to replace Google as the top of mind when people are seeking for help. And this will be executed by my Gen Z team here. We envision a world where we can unlock the world's expertise within seconds. And to achieve this, we are seeking our seed round investment to focus on product development and to amplify our marketing flywheel. So come talk to us. We are looking for strategic investors and advisors to join us in our quest to provide the next millions of jobs through peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Thank you. Hi, we are Pop Inventory, myself Ming Ming with my co-founder Rack Team. We have 16 years of online grocery experience from companies like Grab, Food Panda, Red Mart, and Lazada. We are now on a mission to digitize small to medium grocery stores in Southeast Asia. Today, online grocery is booming, but offline grocery stores still cannot list inventory and sell online efficiently. It's a huge missed opportunity with millions of grocery stores in Southeast Asia, contributing to 67% of the grocery market. Like our first two customers, Highmart and Daily Price Fair, they have very limited e-commerce expertise, no dedicated tech resource or manpower to run an online business. Not anymore. We provide an easy-to-use, mobile-first, Shopify-like platform, embedded with our grocery expertise and a supplier marketplace. It allows merchants to have their own branded online store with a merchant center that connects to other popular online channels. Together with a supplier marketplace, anyone can easily source, list, and sell online groceries just with a few taps on their phone. First of all, signing up online store is instant, only with a phone number and location. Then you can immediately list products online, either by scanning the barcodes of your product on shelf with everything else previewed by the platform, or choosing a ready-made template with the best assortment for your store tab. To attract more consumers and serve them even better, we continuously provide data-driven product recommendations to optimize your assortment, with options to bulk purchase from the supplier marketplace. The business model is subscription-based for merchants, and from the supplier marketplace, we take a 5% commission. We have a $270 billion grocery market regionally, with the online part fast growing. A 5% to 10% market share will result in a 1.5 to 3 billion zone. Since starting last August with Antler's pre seed we went from idea to MVP to the first customer. Recently, we onboarded three merchants with eight stores and 3,000 SKUs. We are primed for growth with 800 store leads, first in Singapore to partnership with Food Panda for grocery API and relationships with regional suppliers. We leverage product and assortment that growth to create a flywheel effect, where more merchants lead to more suppliers, better assortment, and more consumers. To start, we are using field visits and existing connections to get the initial merchants and suppliers, and converting consumers in-store and locally. To scale, we will leverage outbound sales, partnerships, and marketing. Rakteam and I worked together in Yuanma Lazada and launched multiple zero to one businesses. With complementary experience, current business and tech from unicorn companies, suppliers, and a community group by startup. 
Together, we are experienced in traditional online, on-demand, dark store, and community group by grocery models. Given our roots from India and China, we are very committed to empower neighborhood stores, even at the personal level, making us a strong team to deliver this vision. We are looking to connect with investors who see the same potential as we do regarding our upcoming seed round. Reach out for our conversation. Thank you. Hey, my name is Shauna, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Return Genie. Most of the people who have bought items online and had to return the items they bought online will relate to these statements. Interestingly, the emphasis by e-commerce websites is always on promoting buying behavior, but they seldom focus on the post-purchase experience. Our research shows up to 50% of carts are abandoned due to high shipping costs, leading to poor conversions for brands. As the competition increases, the customers will get wiser. That means they will stick to brands that take care of them from pre to post purchase experience of their items. Research shows 88% of shoppers would stop shopping with a brand if the return experience is poor. However, if you can define a return and refund process that encourages and reinforces your customers to put their faith in you, 92% of those consumers will shop with the brand again. So the statistics are very clear. Bad post purchase experience will impact businesses in the long run. Introducing the buy now, decide later option. Customer and merchant partners who work with us can benefit from free shipping and returns, instant refunds, and one-click checkout. Basically, the entire post-purchase experience. Improving post-purchase experience will definitely remove a hurdle for shoppers to purchase more items online. The businesses can see a spike in the revenue, and they can focus on their core business while letting us help them manage their entire post-purchase experience. We work with our logistics, pickup and drop-off, an insurance partner to take care of the entire post-purchase experience, right from shipping to returns to refunds. With this unique combination of InsureTech and logistics, we empower brands to issue instant refunds right at the time when the item is picked up from the customer on the return. For our merchant partners who work with us, we will be presented as a checkout option for consumers who are shopping on their web store. For those consumers, who do not wish to fill online forms or payment information or any other information on e-commerce sites, all they have to do is simply share the URL with us and we will be the personal concierge shopper for them. So far, we have signed up with four affiliate platforms and onboarded 50 plus brands in total. We did a B2C launch during the 11.11 sale and have been iterating based on both user and merchant feedback since then. Now is the perfect time for Return Genie. Returns and post-purchase experience are the final frontier for e-commerce growth in Asia. And we are here to accelerate online business growth and change the e-commerce standards. The market opportunity is huge in front of us. Just in consumer electronics and fashion alone, the total addressable market across ASEAN and Australia was 25 billion. We expect to get to a realistic sum of about 125 million. We are the genies. Our strength lies in our diversity to expand this business across Asia. In Mick and I, we have combined experience of B2B enterprise sales and marketing and our COO, Quinny, a serial entrepreneur, brings the startup mojo into the team. Our vision is to make everybody happy with everything they own. Quick look at the roadmap ahead. We have found product market fit and we're looking to scale to 15,000 monthly active users by mid-2022 while strolling out to Thailand and Indonesia and adding various platform integrations for quick and easy onboarding of our merchant partners. We're looking for investors for our seed round and also seeking our partnerships across insurance, logistics, and e-commerce sites. If you wish to join us on our journey to deliver the best e-commerce experience across Asia, please reach out to hello at returngenie.com. Thank you. Hi, I'm Matt, co-founder and CEO of Seshboard, the all-in-one online workshop platform. When I say online meeting, what are the first words that come to mind? If you're like most people, 
it's probably not the words natural, engaging, or interactive. If we're being honest, it's probably a little closer to Zoom fatigue or when's lunch? Online meetings get a bad enough rap, but online workshops are even more of a challenge. Whereas meetings are for transmitting information, workshops are for discovering new insights and getting things done. Meetings might not need to be very interactive, but for workshops, interaction and collaboration are essential. The COVID pandemic has shown that for businesses to survive and thrive, their people need to be able to communicate and collaborate as well remotely as they do in person. But running workshops online is painful because the tools on the market today were built for meetings, not workshops. We've spoken with 156 consultants, coaches, and workshop facilitators around the world who've told us just how unnatural, unengaging, and needlessly complicated this experience can be. What they need is an operating system for their online workshops, one that delivers all the human connection and engagement of a face-to-face -face setting while making all the most powerful collaboration tools from across the web instantly available to everyone at the click of a button with no downloads, installations, or messy setup required. And that's what we're building. Seshbor brings the magic of face-to-face -face communication online by letting you interact in ways that simply aren't possible elsewhere, like moving through an interactive virtual space for more engaging discussions on the topic at hand, turning to your neighbor for a spontaneous discussion while remaining part of the larger group, and running structured activities that you used to have to be physically present for. Sashboard also integrates your favorite tools like Miro, Google Docs, and YouTube directly into your online workshop session, letting you move from one activity to the next without all that swapping between different windows and tabs, which kills your momentum and engagement. Sashboard is the perfect tool for professionals who lead facilitated group discussions online. This includes consultants with their clients, teachers with their students, coaches with their coaching groups, market researchers with their focus groups, and corporate trainers with their employees. This is a truly global opportunity, with almost 38 million teachers, consultants, coaches, trainers, and focus group moderators on LinkedIn. At $50 per license per month, we only need to sell to 20,000 of them to reach $12 million in annual recurring revenue. Seshboard has just come out of open beta, where it's been used by 85 facilitators in 23 countries around the world, without a single dollar spent on marketing. We're also excited to have launched our paid subscription plans this week. And the best part is, the feedback we've been getting so far is fantastic. Our users love how Seshboard lets them deliver an in-person workshop experience online, unlike any other software on the market. And while our users are already excited about everything Seshboard can do, we're just getting started. Over the next six months, we'll be focused on building out exciting new features that will enable larger organizations to use Seshboard at scale. We'll also be building out our sales and marketing team to make Seshboard's global paid launch a success. We've raised $322,000 in pre-seed funding from Antler and US-based angel investors so far, and look forward to raising our subsequent round in Q2 of this year to further accelerate our growth. Our team has extensive experience spanning the fields of HR and training, edtech, and enterprise communications technology giving us the perfect background to build the world's most powerful online workshop facilitation platform. We believe that better conversations make us better people. That's why we're designing tools to enable more engaging, meaningful, and impactful conversations between people anywhere around the world. If you feel the same way, we'd love to speak with you. Thank you. We are Jaramba. We are trying to tackle the most crucial issue of mobility in developing countries starting from Indonesia. Let's say, as an Indonesian, you want to move from A to B. What are the possible options you have? Because of you, probably will pick a private vehicle to the point that one out of two Indonesians own a private vehicle. Public transport probably will be your last option. Although providing the cheaper solution, People still won't use it because of its inconvenience and uncertainty. We integrate public transport into a single platform, studied with public microbus called Angkot and Metrobus integration. 
we are transport mode agnostic. So, as long as it is public transport, then it can be integrated into our platform. To help you experience a better transport, we provide certainty by showing real-time fleet position. And we generate integrated trip information to help you quickly decide which route to take. And you can also pay cashless with your favorite e-wallet. And after you have your e-ticket, you can redeem it by scanning the QR sticker in the bus that you ride in. Since day one, we will get revenue from 8% of every ticket that is sold through our platform. And after reaching critical mass, we will get extra revenue from the gathered mobility data. In the beginning, we will be acquiring students as our users. And then, when we have integrated intercity transport, we will start acquiring tourists. Right after we master urban transport, we will start acquiring regular commuters as our daily users. With Gojek and Grab only covering 7% of the urban trips, we plan to serve the underserved among the 93% of the untapped market. We were established in August 2021, then last October we held our beta testing campaign where in two weeks we test and validate the product. It leads to product refinement, so on 7 January we finally go live in Bandung City, Indonesia, attended by the governor of Vesava province. And after launch for several days, this is what we get so far. Three webinars were held, endorsement from Department of Transport, partner with two public transport operators, and also we have 60 road searches that leads to 79 orders being made, with 61 of them already redeemed organically. We will acquire transport operators one by one to form an extensive network, and then replicate to other metropolitan areas in Indonesia. We start this with MOU with West Java province and now we are currently fundraising 1 million to expand to 24 cities within 18 months. At first, we will deploy one city per month in West Java province, then expand to other metropolitan areas on Java Island. We install GPS tracker in transport fleet so we can get precise data since day one. Parallel with that, we will research growth tracking so we can scale better later on. At the end of seed stage, we will get 13,000 daily transaction with 7 million total GTV. We graduated from the same college, ITB, and have collaborated on some projects before, then decided to build Jaramba to connect the unconnected. Let's make responsible mobility with us. Thank you. We are Cooley, an AI and SaaS startup working to digitize the internal processes for the freight forwarders. Did you know that in the global freight market, 90% of the world's trade is carried by oceans? The market capitalization of the global freight forwarder market is 260 billion. Of this, 20 billion is wasted annually due to inefficiencies. And of late, this has increased due to the container capacity shortages. The industry that we are tackling has a very high percentage of manual processes, a highly fragmented system, multiple intermediaries, and a very high lack of visibility. How do we know this? Because we are from the industry. Vikram, with over 20 years of experience in freight forwarding, supply chain, and logistics, and Romit, with over 15 years with technology, product management, and strategy, we've gone through the pain, and we know exactly what needs to be done. Who is a freight forwarder? They are the backbone of logistics and enablers who organize shipments from the factory to your doorstep. Freight forwarders make sure that the entire journey of the product from the factory to the customer moves without any hitch by liaising with multiple stakeholders. So we built an AI-based SaaS product which helps the freight forwarders with their complete value chain. Our goal is to digitize by capturing and automating the end-to-end -end process, increasing productivity, business continuity, and top-line revenue. 
Are we just any other online freight forwarder? No, we're not competing with the online freight forwarders, but enabling freight forwarders to digitize themselves and get themselves ready for the next generation, thus becoming the Shopify for freight forwarders. The global forwarding market by 2027 is expected to reach a market cap of 260 billion US dollars. With 15% of the market ready for disruption, our target is the half a million forwarders who fall in our sweet spot and move between 10,000 and 100,000 containers per year. Our market penetration strategy is growth in the APAC region over the next 12 months before we go global. We have generated a top line revenue of 150,000 from our first customer, whom we converted from a POC to a paid customer. Our plan is to move approximately 10 million containers, which is approximately 1% of the global container market through our system by 2025, generating a top line revenue of 200 million. We are ready to get into the market aggressively. For this, we're looking to raise funds to reach our research and development targets, penetrate the Asia Pacific market and rapidly acquire users. We're looking to form partnerships with investors who want to join us to transform this market and has knowledge or is interested in the logistics industry. Should you need more information on how we're transforming the freight forwarding market into an efficient and smarter market, please get in touch with us on info at cooley.com. Thank you. Good day, all of you. We are Visit Home Private Limited, here to make home-based healthcare accurate, convenient, and easy. We are a team of me, a biomedical scientist engineer, an eminent medical doctor, and a healthcare business veteran, along with a great advisory board of scientists and healthcare technology market experts. The problem we are trying to solve is that the healthcare screening and diagnostics is primarily facility-based, or it needs very specific uh, infrastructure. And we are all familiar with long queues in clinics and hospitals. Take the COVID-19 pandemic, for example, all the uh, annoying and inconvenience we have to go through to get tested. And this has inspired us to make a revolution in the home-based healthcare market. What if we tell you that instead of this painful and inconvenient annoying procedure, all you needed was a chewable lollipop-like device. We at Test at Home have successfully tested a lollipop-like swap that can safely allow you to self-test for COVID-19 at the comfort of your home. Be it on the spot color changing technology, or you can either safely send it to a lab or you can integrate it with any other detection technology for faster and easy detection. Our initial focus is on COVID-19, but soon we will follow up with the TB, food sensitivity and other health biomarkers. Our lollipop technology has a lot of inherent advantages, apart from scientifically having high concentration of biomarkers. It's convenient, it's easy, it can be done at home and it can be scaled, and it is cheap. We are backed by very solid sites, especially from a clinical trial overseen by National University of, National University of Singapore, where they compared our lollipop swap with existing gold, gold standard nasal swaps, and we were 95% accurate. In fact, uh, uh, our lollipop swab detected eight patients that were missed by the nasal swabs. This is very interesting. After the clinical trial, we have had considerable traction and interest from uh, leading brands like Win Group, India Health Fund, QRX, etc. in Vietnam, India, and Singapore. Apart from that, our technology itself and the clinical trial had considerable press attention in India and Singapore. Being a research and development startup, we are very proud to be associated with Nanyang Technology University, National University of Singapore, and University of Strathclyde. These uh, research universities, top in the world, form the backbone of our research and development capabilities. Followed, following that, we have very good lead scale partners, very, very strong and uh, widely eclectic uh, manufacturing and distribution partners, along with uh, strong incubation support provided by these amazing people. For COVID-19, the market and business model and also for the future is that in the year 2022, we hope to make COVID-19 and TB our primary target and we are aiming to sell 4 million kits around this year and then eventually design and deploy food sensitivity kits by 2024. Thus, we are here to seek a small uh, bridge round of financing that will 
help us commercialize a clinical trial proven and clinically ready product uh, which could be uh, developed and sold over 4 million with the current traction we have and the LOIs we are in discussion with. And parallelly, we'll be designing the food sensitivity kits as well. Thank you for your time and uh, please join us to make this world a better place one lollipop technology at a time. And this brings us to the end of this demo day. The opportunities to innovate and positively impact the world are bigger than ever, and the leading companies of tomorrow are being built today. If you want to be part of the future and build a company, there is no better time than now. Our next program in Singapore is starting in February 2022. If you're interested in joining our platform and building your next company with Antler Southeast Asia, apply through our website antler.co. If you would like to get to know more about Antler, our funds, and working or partnering with us, get in touch via singapore at antler.co. From all of us in Antler Southeast Asia, here in Singapore, thank you for watching.